A patient and doctor discuss diabetic macular edema. I suddenly realized when I was driving that I couldn't see the road signs nor the highway signs. And my first thought was that I needed driving glasses. I went to the ophthalmologist and after a very thorough examination, he told me that my right eye was worthless and my left eye was legally blind and glasses would not help me. I needed to go to a retina specialist as soon as possible. It became more and more difficult. I, it was difficult to read a phone book, um, extremely difficult to read a prescription bottle with the small print. And the saddest for me was being unable to read music properly because I'm a retired professional musician. And not to be able to read music score was really tough. Over a decade ago, Congress gave money specifically to the National Eye Institute to do diabetic retinopathy research. And the network that we've developed has resulted in dozens of studies and new ways to treat diabetes and diabetic retinopathy that have reduced blindness dramatically. We have definitive proof that a new treatment can likely lead to even better results. And this is very important because diabetes is not only common, but unfortunately it's growing in its prevalence. People who have macular edema from diabetes actually have developed some damage to the blood vessels that are lining the back part of the eye. This is the light sensitive portion of the eye that helps us see. And unfortunately, in people with diabetes, these blood vessels can be damaged. The damage leads to fluid leaking in the retina tissue, which then swells and with that swelling, very often you can have vision loss. The new treatment option now is to use a new drug which is called ranibizumab, or the trade name is Lucentis. And by injecting that as often as every four weeks for at least one to two years, we found that you could get improvement in vision about 50% of the time. Everyone is so excited when I have my vision tested and I'm reading 2020. So to go from worthless and legally blind to seeing at 2020, which is perfect vision, without glasses is incredible. I think research is important for everyone. I would like to urge people to look for doctors who are participating in research. If we can all help one another and support research, then many, many lives will be changed for the better. We think the results from this large multicenter trial will provide new treatments for our patients with diabetic macular edema beyond laser and will improve their chances of good vision in the future. For more information, contact the National Eye Institute at 301-496-5248 or www.nei.nih.gov.